Hello everyone, welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to see 30 common interview question and answers related to GD and T that is geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. What is GD and T? GD and T is a system that defines and communicates engineering tolerances using symbols to ensure parts fit and function properly. So if you take a close look at this figure, there are various symbols present which define different kind of GD and T. Why is GD and T important in manufacturing? GD and T helps ensure interchangeability, improves quality control, reduces scrap and enhances communication between designers, manufacturers and inspectors. So basically it is going to be used to increase precision while manufacturing. What are the main components of GD and T? The main components are symbols, feature control frames, datums and material condition modifiers. So if you check out at the list, symbols are given their characteristics and meanwhile the categories in which they are divided are given as well. How many types of geometric tolerances are there? There are 14 geometric tolerances divided into 5 categories Form, Orientation, Location, Profile and Runout If you see the table, you, uh, you will see all the symbols that are present for the same and I will suggest you to note down all these symbols along with their tolerance type and characteristics for better understanding. What are datums in GD and T? Datums are reference points, lines or surfaces from which measurements are made. What is a feature control frame? It is a rectangular box that contains the GD&T symbol, tolerance value, datums and modifiers. So basically, FCF is going to be the heart of the topic of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing because that is the reason how you are going to check out the tolerance of an entire drawing you can see the examples presented what is the difference between a feature and a feature of size a feature is any physical part of a component while a feature of size has dimensions like holes slots and cylinders what is mmc maximum material condition MMC is the condition where a part has the most material, example the smallest hole or the largest shaft. What is LMC? Least material condition. LMC is the condition where a part has the least material, example the largest hole or the smallest shaft. If we compare both the figures and definition, you will understand these definitions better. What is RFS? Regardless of feature size. RFS means the tolerance applies at any feature size without material condition modifiers. So there won't be any material condi condition modifiers but you can actually apply tolerance at any size of the feature. What are form tolerances? Form tolerances control the shape of a feature and include straightness, flatness, circularity and cylindricity. What is straightness in GD and T? It ensures a feature such as a shaft remains straight within the given tolerance. What is flatness? It ensures a surface is even without waviness or roughness beyond the specified tolerance. Make sure to note down all the symbols because in interviews you might be asked to write or draw the symbols or write the definition or you might be asked to recognize the symbol and define it. What is circularity? It controls how close a cross section of a cylindrical part is to a perfect circle. What is cylindricity? It ensures a cylinder remains uniform in both straightness and roundness. What are orientation tolerances? Remember, orientation tolerances always depend upon the orientation of a certain object. So, they control the tilt of a feature concerning a datum and include perpendicularity, parallelism and angularity. What is perpendicularity? It ensures a feature is exactly 90 degree to a datum. Remember, the symbol of perpendicularity is pretty easy to remember as it is just 90 degree to the datum. What is parallelism? It ensures two surfaces or features remain parallel within a tolerance zone. 
What is angularity? It ensures a feature maintains a specified angle with respect to a datum. What are location tolerances? They control the exact position of a feature and include position, concentricity and symmetry. What is true position? It ensures a hole or feature is within a defined tolerance zone relative to the datums. All right. What is concentricity? It ensures the central axis of two or more features align perfectly. Concentricity is most widely used GDNT symbol. What is symmetry? It ensures a feature is evenly distributed about a central axis or plane. Again, similar to concentricity, symmetry is also one of the widely used symbols in GDNT. What are profile tolerances? They control the shape of a surface and include profile of a line and profile of a surface. What is profile of a line? It ensures a 2D cross section of a feature follows the designed contour. What is a profile of a surface? It controls a 3D surface ensuring it stays within a tolerance zone. What are runout tolerances? They control the surface deviation when a part rotates around an axis and include circular runout and total runout. So remember, runout tolerances will include circular and total runout. What is circular runout? It ensures a circular feature remains within tolerance when rotated. So this rotation might be complete or incomplete, meaning 360 degree or 180 degree. What is total runout? It controls the entire surface of a feature along its axis. What is the difference between bilateral and unilateral tolerances? Unilateral tolerances allows variation in only one direction. Meanwhile, bilateral tolerances allows variation in both the directions. Mostly in advanced drawings, bilateral tolerances are preferred. Also, you can make sure from the figure how the unilateral and bilateral tolerances change. How is GDNT used in engineering drawings? GDNT symbols, tolerance values and feature control frames are added to drawings to specify allowable variations. If you are a beginner in engineering, make sure that you learn basic GDNT symbols so that you understand the scope of drawings better. Learn GDMT and engineering drawings by joining Gage Hub Premium now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe.